Hi again. I realized uh, almost immediately after making the restream chat video that I was like, oh wait, you don't have to use window capture, you can use browser source for the YouTube chat. So here's that very quickly. Nothing fancy. You would go to, you know, your live dashboard, you click here, pop out chat, get off my screen. You'd go here, copy this chat uh, link, copy. Except of course it'd be your link, not mine. Uh, you would go over here on OBS, this area. YouTube example. Of course, resize it. You know, you'll play around with it to make it look pretty good. You can right click here and full screen projector view. You now see the projector view up in the corner, and it of course bugs out while I'm recording uh, all of the mice, but ignore that. You can see that the chat is working on this, so I hit escape, I'm no longer previewing it, and then you would go here, no, sorry, you would go here under this little red thing, hold alt, and then click so that you drag that, and you don't need to see the chat from ages ago, so let's remove that down a little bit, and let's remove this, what do you want to call it? scaling icon thing I can't think of what it's called and there you go then you could move that and I believe using you know just a little bit of coding you could make it opaque and not do all that kind of stuff and that would be right there and that would probably be in that little box that I just showed I can't talk well open because um, it would just do minus 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 and then if you ever wanted to remove it say you were just <sighs> it wasn't picking up the mic as you can see I use restream chat personally uh, but you could use this YouTube thing as an example and just decide to show it that way I'm not so that's that. Thank you for watching and uh, yeah, this should should make it so that you don't have to worry about people seeing your other browsing and stuff. Or, you know, no accidental oops, I went to Facebook while streaming and instead of picking up the chat, I picked up my Facebook and now everyone knows who I am. Because you know <sighs> I like my privacy. But uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. This was I probably won't even upload that first one the first video showing how to window capture mode because it's not as efficient. No, I'm not going to show you. I just said I was not going to show you, I'm going to show you here. Thank you for watching. Quick, short tutorial. That's how you get YouTube chat. Same basic principle, I believe, for Twitch chat. A second, I'll open that just really quick. Pop out chat. All right, why am I typing boop? I don't know. You go up here, grab your link again. Hey, is it gonna work? Okay, it's working. And now you've got that Twitch chat example. And Okay, it's working. Just had to make sure. And then of course you would want to go down here, again clicking the Twitch chat example. Three, it's not working! Or it's not picking up my mic when I do it. But you go over here, right click, or hold alt and then left click, and you can drag and remove that. And since the chat here is up to down, or shows up at the top, old messages at the bottom. No, it's not. Okay, so the bottom is actually where you'd want to go. You could, you know, resize it like this or however. You play with it, mess around until you got it how you want it. I'm not going to spend all the time doing that. So here's just an example of how you might choose to do it. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Uh, yeah. Darn it.
clicking so it stops picking up the mic. This is how you would do the browser source, and that should keep you from accidentally showing people your Facebook or whatever. So, thank you for watching, and there's the, there's the video. And uh, that's that. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Questions, comments, feel free to leave them. And I'll see you in the future. See ya.